is Hunter Parrish, and I play Milkyar Gabor. So Milkyar is uh, is kind of uh, the rebel man amongst all these young um, kids in a rigid society, and he sort of tends to break the mold and uh, wants to express himself, and he's not allowed to, um, but he feels like he should be. So he expresses that point of view throughout the entire show. The interesting thing is that um, Milkyar and I don't exactly share a lot of the same beliefs, but we, uh, I was, my parents were really lenient with the way that they raised me. And uh, so in that respect, and, and Milkyar's parents are, are, are as well, so in that respect we have similar uh, foundation of our beginnings and um, sort of enter into the world and society with an idea of exploration and um, not restriction. I grew up in Dallas, Texas. I was born in Richmond, Virginia, and I moved to Dallas when I was five, and lived there for 12 years, and now I live in LA. I think the soul of being a Texan is being hospitable, and that lesson I did learn, but uh, I, uh, I'm, not, uh, I'm not a true Texan in the twangy sense. My parents never um, decided for me that this would be like my career choice. They were always just like, if you're happy doing it, you, we, you have our support. And many times I would be like, this is not worth it, and I would stop, and then like a week later I'd be like, I have to go back. So uh, it was never a pressure from my parents, I just always sort of re-found um, my interest and passion. I actually started acting uh, in New York when I was six, and that's uh, I went to some camps. So I spent the summer out here when I was six. I had a lot of downtime, and so I, my mom took me to a lot of theater. and. It was actually then that I knew, like I looked on stage and I was like, I, I, that's something I want to do. Cats is like the one show, I'm so cheesy, but it was like the one show that I saw and I was like so excited about those people up there in weird suits and funny noses and whiskers getting to dance and sing and there were like giant plastic forks around. It was just was like such a larger than life show. To me, at six, it was like the coolest thing ever. Cats was a show that I like started crying at and my mom's like, are you scared? You can, you can go, you can, we can leave. If you're scared, we don't have to stay. And I was like, no, I just, I want to be on that stage. It's my cheesy acting Broadway story. It's so weird to have to, to have to like try and convince someone to come see a show like this because it's just like anyone that has seen it is just sort of like, I can't even believe something this incredible exists. So I think you have to just go off of the testament of people that have seen it and um, and the passion of the actors that are that are in it, you know, believing what what they're doing. It's such a timeless piece. So. Um, you come to see a show and you see people sing and you see them talk about stuff and you expect to be entertained and actually you're um, sort of touched and moved, you know, you, you're impacted because you identify with it and relate to it and I think that's such a great thing to walk away from being expected to just sit back and be entertained and with our show you actually get ignited to think and feel. The wonderful thing is that I'm not alone and you know, people say, oh, he's the star and stuff or whatever, but I have an incredible company behind me supporting me and saving me and, um, and just doing an incredible job to tell the story, you know, and that's what it's all about. So, you know, it's great. It's a wonderful um, point in my life to reach, you know, a dream come true, but it's also nice that it's not all about me. It's about a story and about a group of people telling it together.